In this video, I'm going to go over and explain how to do order of operations with integers. So let's go ahead and begin. Before we uh, get started, though, we want to take some flags next. So make sure that you have your handout. Um, your handout will look like this. We're going to go ahead and um, talk about what this pen does. And the method that we're going to use is the box itself and rewrite it method. Here we go. What is PEMDAS? PEMDAS is a way to remember the order that has to be followed when a problem contains more than one operation. Therefore, we'll get this, um, everybody will get the same answer. If we're all doing different operations at different times in the problem, then we're going to have multiple solutions. Okay? So pause it, write that down, and then P. P, first complete all operations inside of parentheses or other grouping symbols. When I say other grouping symbols, I'm talking about brackets. So parentheses and brackets mean the same thing. If you have multiple parentheses, you go into the intermost parentheses, and then you work to the outside of the parentheses. Okay, so pause the video and write that down. The second step is to complete all exponents. Exponents, for example, is something like 4 to the second power. Refer to that as 4 squared. Exponents are repeated multiplication. So 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4, which is 16. Pause the video and write down what exponents are. Multiplication and division is the third step. We complete multiplication and division going from left to right. So sometimes division and then multiplication are interchangeable. So understand that they're interchangeable. Okay, go ahead and write that down. The last step is to complete all addition and or subtraction. And again, that's going from left to right. So sometimes we'll do subtraction and then addition. Other times we'll do addition and then subtraction. Okay? Just whatever comes first, going left to right. The same way that we read. So let's go ahead and talk about the method. The method that we're going to use is called box it, solve it, and rewrite it. When solving a problem with many operations, you box the problem that you're solving. Then you solve the problem inside the box. Last, we rewrite the problem and start the same process from the beginning. Okay. You can go ahead and summarize that, this process in your notes for, um, for homework. Our first example problem. Take a minute, copy this down. It's going to be 2, and then inside parentheses, that means 2 times negative 3 minus 1. Okay. So, to get started, we're going to get in the habit of changing any subtraction problem into a, adding its opposite, or which is often referred to as keep, change, change. So the first thing I want you to do after you copy down the original problem is we're going to change this subtraction sign right here. We're going to make that add opposite. So it's going to be plus negative 1. Now, once we've done that change, then we can start our uh, solving, and we're going to use PEMDAS. So we're going to do um, parentheses first. Well, there's no operation inside this parentheses, so we're going to do two, then we're going to do a multiplication. We're going to do two times negative three. We're going to box that in. That's the box. It. Two times negative three, we know from our integer rules, is negative six. Okay, that's the solve it part. Now, we're going to bring this piece down. So we plus negative 1 equals. That's the rewrite it. So we boxed it, we solved it, and then we rewrote it. Okay? Now, the second part is to box in the next operation we're going to do. That's the last operation. There's only one up. we got negative 6 plus negative 1. That's the same sign sum. So we're going to add those. 6 plus 1 is 7, and you know it's negative. So our final answer is negative 7. Okay. Take a minute to make sure you understand those steps. And as we go, as we progress here, we're going to get into more difficult problems. Okay. So number 2. Take a minute, write this down. 3 times 4 minus 5, and then parentheses 8 minus 2. Okay. We're going to apply the same rules that we did in step 1. We're going to change all subtraction into adding its opposite. 
So the first thing we're going to do after we write the problem down is go into the problem and we're going to change the subtraction sign into adding and then the opposite. So it's going to be plus negative 5. And we're going to do the same thing inside the parentheses. 8 minus 2, we're going to change that to plus negative 2. So 8 minus 2 is the same as 8 plus negative 2. Okay? Now we start our PEMDAS. We go inside the parentheses. We box, box the parentheses in and we solve it. 8 plus negative 2, that's a different science difference problem. So that's going to be 8 minus 2, which is 6, and there's more positives than negatives. So it's going to be positive 6. So we we'll rewrite that down here. Now we move everything else down from the problem. Keep that inside parentheses. So we have negative 5 out front of it, plus the number 4, and then times, and then 3. So we rewrote it. We solved it here, and then we rewrote it. Next problem, we're going to do multiplication going from left to right. Okay, this is our first multiplication problem. We box it, and we solve it. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus negative 5 times 6. Okay, now we're going to box this in. For our next multiplication problem, box this in. Negative 5 times 6 is negative 30. So it's going to be 12 plus negative 30. Okay? And then our last problem we box in is this 12 plus negative 30. That's a dip. Oh, excuse me. Let me get rid of that. That's a different signs difference problem. So we're going to do 30 minus 12. Okay, 30 minus 12. Cross out, that's 2. 10. 10 take away 2 is 8. 2 take away 1 is 1. And we have more negatives than positive, so our final answer is negative 18. Okay. Let's go ahead and look at problem number 3. Problem number 3, you're going to notice, has some exponents in it. Okay, so we have to do the exponents first. So, we can do all the exponents together, because okay, they're not going to change any other part of the problem. So let's go ahead and go up here and box in the exponent problems. Okay, and then over here. Okay, so 4 squared, let's think about that as 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16. And then up here, this is 3 times 3 which is 9. Common mistake is that people think this is 3 times 2. Now this is 3 repeated 2 times. So think of it as 3 repeated 2 times. 3 times 3 is 9. So it's going to be 9 for this. Now we're just going to throw in every other piece of the same problem. So it's going to be 3 times 16 minus 4 times 9. Now one thing that we did forget with this problem because we forgot to change this subtraction to adding its opposite. But we can do that now. So we're going to add and make that its opposite. Okay? Now we've got to do this multiplication next. So 3 times 16 is 48. So we'll copy down to 48. Plus, and then negative 4, you can box that in, because they're not going to change each other. Is it, okay, negative 4 times 9 is negative 36. The so last problem is to do the 4, negative 48 plus negative 36. That's a different sign's difference. So over here, we're going to do the minus 36. The pen is not writing very well. 8 take away 6 is 2. 4 take away 3 is 1. So our answer is 12. There's more negative or more positives than negative. So our final answer is 12. Okay? Our fourth and final problem together, okay, we have 13 minus 8, and in parentheses 9 minus 4. And okay, this one we're not going to forget to add its opposite from the beginning. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Change this to adding opposite. Adding opposite. Box in the parentheses, that's what we're going to do first. 
then we're going to do 9 plus negative 4. 9 plus negative 4, that's a different sign, it's a difference. So that's 9 minus 4, which is 5. There's more positives than negatives. So we're going to bring down that 5. Keep it inside parentheses. Out front, we're going to do negative 8. And then plus 13. Next, we have to do the multiplication. Negative 8 times 5 is negative 40. Okay, so negative 40. And then plus 13. So we have 13 plus negative 40. This is a different sign difference problem. So we got to subtract them. So off to the side, we're going to subtract. Got to borrow. That becomes 3. 10. 10 to take away 3 is 7. 3 to take away 1 is 2. And then we have more negatives than positives. So our answer is negative 27. Okay? So essentially all you're doing is just working through all the different operations inside the problem. Okay? In, that, in, in the order that they have to be completed. Okay? Now, what I'd like you to do is pause the video and complete the four practice problems at the bottom. Once you're finished, then start the video and you can check your answers. Now that you started the video, I assume that you have finished those four practice problems. I'm going to bring up their solutions so you can check them. Okay, number one. Okay, here are the steps how to solve it. Okay, and your final answer is negative 25. So that's number five. I think it's called number one. Number six, here are the steps that you need to follow to solve it, and your answer is negative sixteenths. If your steps are a little bit different than what's shown up here, that's fine. As long as what we want to get is the, the answer at the bottom, okay? And number seven, we get 20 as our final answer. Go ahead and check your work to see how we get 20. And then last, we have negative 10 as our answer. And here are the steps that we follow to get to negative 10. The repeated here, that's 2 times 2 times 2. That might have tricked some of you up because that's going to be 8. 2 to the third power is 8. Okay? Now, write down any questions that you have on this sheet and bring them to class tomorrow and we'll go over. Okay. Take care. Thank you for watching.